Yo, what's up? Ricky Sanders here. If you live for fast cars, greasy hands, and solving problems under the hood, welcome to your new favorite spot. I'm all about real fixes, no BS, and showing you how to keep your ride running like a champ. So go ahead, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's make some noise in the garage. Enough talk. Let's get ready. An automobile engine of any kind has a complex design. It includes various systems and mechanisms that interact with each other. To ensure the removal of gases formed in the internal cavities of the power unit, the diesel engine is equipped with an effective ventilation system. Formation of crankcase gases. In the process of combustion of working mixtures in the engine cylinders there is an accumulation of exhaust gases that are under high pressure. As a result of the pressure, some of the gases leak into the crankcase. There they mix with oil vapors and condensate moisture. The resulting gas mixture is called crankcase gases. As the pressure increases, the gas mixture bursts through the following elements, oil seals, breather plug, oil dipstick outlet, seals. If the characteristic effect called oil chasing appears, it means that engine oil is involved in the escape of gases. To stop the moving oil from the diesel engine breather, it is necessary to keep the pressure inside the engine within the permissible limits with the help of crankcase gases output through the ventilation system. Principle of operation of the engine ventilation system. In the design of old models of internal combustion engines, the simplest schemes of ventilation systems were built in, they included only one breather, which was located in the crankcase. It was a link connecting the inside of the cylinder block with the atmosphere, through it crankcase gases came out. This scheme had a significant disadvantage, the exhaust gases contained oil particles, which were dispersed in the external environment. This negative effect resulted in significant losses of lubricants and was also a serious air pollutant. Modern diesel and turbo engines are equipped with closed type ventilation systems. A special pipe is connected to the breather, through which exhaust gases are discharged into the intake manifold cavity or to the air filter for further advancement inside the cylinders to participate in the combustion process. Advanced designs eliminate the causes of environmental pollution by preventing oil particles from escaping into the atmosphere. In addition, each engine is equipped with special elements that separate oil particles from gases and return them to the crankcase cavity. Depending on the manufacturer and model of the car, there are several variants of oil separation devices, which differ both structurally and by the principle of operation. The ventilation systems of diesel power units of modern cars include the following elements, oil separator, a breather, two branch pipes, gas pressure valve. The appearance of the systems may differ depending on the model of the car, but the principle of operation and purpose remain unchanged. The operation of the system consists of the following steps, passage of gases into the head cover cavity through the diesel breather, separation of oil in the oil separator and its supply to the valves, mixing and supplying gases to the manifold through the air manifold. The power unit of this vehicle model is not equipped with an exhaust gas pressure regulating valve. In other autos, Oil separators may be located in the area of the breather, behind which the pressure valve is located. How to detect oil leaking through the diesel breather The functionality of this system is very important for stable engine operation. Oil escape through the diesel breather is the most common venting problem. Signs of oil chasing through the diesel breather include the following effects grease leakage inside the air filter. The presence of abundant oil traces on the outer surface of the filtering device of the carburetor motor. Oil deposits on the throttle mechanism and the inner surface of the intake manifold. Reduction of engine power indicators. Increased fuel consumption. What are the causes of oil ejection lubricants can escape through the diesel breather plug not only due to faults in the ventilation system. This defect is also observed due to the following causes increased wear of piston rings, destruction of surfaces in cylinders and pistons lead to the passage of a large amount of gases into the crankcase, with which the ventilation is not able to cope. This situation leads to increased pressure, 
at which the oil is squeezed out through the breather. Clogs in the drain channel of the oil separator lead to mixing of separated oil into the passing gases. Clogging of the air filter. With this defect, the engine does not have enough air, and it begins to use air masses from the ventilation, contaminated with oil inclusions. The increased amount of engine oil in the lubrication system leads to the ingress of excess oil into the ventilation system. Failure, lodging of the ventilation valve. Where of the timing mechanism and valve burnout entails the entry of crankcase gases into the space above the valve and in the crankcase. Cavity, which contributes to increased pressure in the engine. Lubricant outlet diagnostics in order to identify the causes of the defect of lubricant chasing through the diesel and turbo diesel. Breather, it is necessary to carry out a comprehensive inspection of the power unit. This will not require disassembly of the engine. Experienced masters measure certain parameters and visually assess the condition of the elements included in the ventilation system. Algorithm of checking measures analyze the condition of exhaust gases. In this case, the engine is turned on and the color shade of the exhaust is checked. Black or blue color indicates that oil gets into the cylinders, because there is wear and lodging of oil rings, as well as there are. Problems in the operation of the timing mechanism. Check the compression in each cylinder. Compression value equal to 11, 13 MPa indicates proper operation of cylinders and pistons. The difference between the compression in the cylinders should not exceed 1 MPa. Low compression in one of the cylinders may be the cause of lubricant leakage. The glow plug is used to determine the specific cause of the cylinder defect. The glow plug is removed and inspected for strong traces of carbon deposits, which indicate defects in the cylinder piston group. The absence of soot on the plug indicates that the valve should be checked. If the compression in all cylinders is normal, it is necessary to further check and clean the elements of the ventilation system. All incoming devices are to be dismantled and thoroughly washed, dried, and then installed in place. Conclusion The output of lubricant through the diesel breather does not immediately manifest itself. It starts with small portions, and then the amount of oil increases. There are cases when the power unit loses more than one liter of lubricant in a short time. Car owners are alarmed by the occurrence of this problem. To diagnose, clean and eliminate the defect of the system with your own hands, it is enough to change the brand of lubricant and clean. The breather. In conclusion, a diesel engine breather blowing oil can be a sign of underlying issues such as excessive crankcase pressure, worn. Piston rings or a clogged breather system. Addressing these problems promptly is essential to prevent further engine damage and maintain optimal performance. Regular maintenance, including checking and replacing the breather filter, monitoring oil levels, and conducting engine diagnostics, can help mitigate these issues. By staying proactive and informed, you can ensure your diesel engine runs smoothly and efficiently for years to come. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more insights on engine care and maintenance.